I'm going to show you how to get started with Verso Check-In. First thing I need to do is locate today's learning objective from the curriculum. So I'm going to go here and check history from these quick filters, year seven, and we're looking at ancient Greece. See so if I just put that in there, just put Greece in there in these filters. And the one I'm looking at is um, rights of citizens in ancient Athens. So here it is. I'm going to have a look at what the students will see if I use this check-in. Uh, and of course, this check-in can be adapted by the teacher. So I will have a look at whether I want to change this. So the first thing the students has to do is self-assess against the learning objective. And then the prompt that's preloaded, in this case, it's a reflection on the process. What learning strengths did you apply that other people in class might not have noticed in today's lesson? So students respond to that and then they need to tell me what can we do differently as a class to move the learning forward next time and they can select from this drop down list that has been adapted um, from high, high impact teaching strategies by the students at Vic SRC. Finally they're going to tell me how they feel about their learning by selecting two adjectives from the list here again that list has been adapted by the students at Vic SRC. The last new feature it here is that students, if they want to talk to me about their well-being or, um, or have, have a one-to-one -one conversation, if they check this box, it will send a direct email to the teacher, just letting me know that this particular student would like to have a few minutes of my time to talk about how they're feeling. Now, I'm really happy with that form, so now that I've had a look at it, I'm going to try it with my students. So all I have to do is click that button, it will take me through to a page where I can, if I at this stage want to change that reflection prompt, I can add one of my own or I can select from one of Verso's 250 preloaded prompts that are can be categorised under headings of remote learning, synthesis and analysis, prompts for critical and creative thinking, self-awareness, self-management, and you'll recognise these prompts are coming, these prompt headings are coming from the general capabilities. Um, reflection on process, and there are even prompts there for mathematical thinking. I'm happy with the one I've got today, so I'm going to use that one. Again, I can preview that check-in and have a look just to make sure if I have changed it, what the students will see, but I'm happy with it as provided. Now, when I've done that, I can just assign that to my class, so I'll put it in my historical thinking class. I can assign that to multiple classes all at the same time, and when I've done that, all I have to do is hit Done, and that check-in has now gone to my students. So what you're seeing here now is my teacher dashboard just waiting for those all-important student responses. Once they come in, and here's an example from a science class, you, I will see student self-assessments. I'll see their individual responses to the reflection prompt. In this case, it was a science reflection um, on covalent bonding. I'll see their um, review of how they're feeling about their learning and I'll have that all important list of preferred strategies so I can start to adapt my planning and let the students know that their voice has been heard and changes to the structure and the content of the lesson have been made on the back of students applying their voice. Okay, give it a go.